Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano DeFi video. This one's going to be looking at the liquid finance lending and borrowing protocol. I'll show you how it all works, how to actually provide liquidity, how to take out loans against the assets you've provided, and then talk a bit about why someone might use a protocol like this. And then in some of the other upcoming DeFi videos, I'll talk a bit more about different strategies or go a bit deeper into some more reasons why someone would use something like this. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell. Share it out if you think others can benefit. Comment questions or anything below. Give it a like. I do appreciate it. Let's jump into it. Okay, so on the screen here, you can see the liquid finance platform. At the minute, there are two different assets. There's ADA and JED. So the last time I showed this, there would have only been ADA. So JED was added today. And by the time you're looking at this, hopefully there'll be a few more assets added there as well. You can see there is currently a vote in to add Shen to the platform. And I would expect more to follow along fairly soon as well. So the first thing you will need to do when you come on is up in the top right, you can connect your wallet. So you can see I already have my eternal wallet connected, but when you click the connect button, you just pick the wallet that you want to add. And if it's your very first time, you will have a little checkbox down here that you have to agree to the terms of service. But once you have connected your wallet, you can see this is the one that I used before in another video where I showed how to provide uh, provide collateral you can see i have some ada provided and then i get when you provide collateral on this you get back another asset a q version of that asset and that represents the collateral that you've put into the system so you can see right now i have 200 ADA in here it's earning an apy of 3.76 percent so when you provide collateral then you earn an interest rate on that and that's on top of the staking rewards so that's the same for Jed. You can see the Jed one right now is low. It's just under 1%, but that has only been added. So right now there isn't that many loans coming out against it. So the more people taking out loans, the more interest there is being paid into the protocol. So that means there's more interest to pay out to people providing the collateral because it's all based on supply and demand. You can see over here, the APY on this side. So these are the assets for borrowing. The APY over here for ADA is just under 12%. So if you take ADA out of the system, you pay an interest rate of 12%. These are variable. They are all based on supply and demand. But if we come over here, you can see I have ADA there. But if I want to provide more collateral to the system and to take out a loan, you will have had to have provided collateral first. So I click on supply ADA. I will put in 200 ADA here because I want to take out a Jed loan in this example. So I put in 200 ADA and I come down here. It says that for supplying this, I will earn an interest rate of 3.76%. And then the exchange rate doesn't really matter there. Click on supply 200 ADA. And then I should get a pop-up from Eternal and I have to sign the transaction and that gets submitted then. Okay, so I got the pop-up from Eternal there, but I couldn't remember the password of that test wallet. So I had to try a few times and there was no point to you sitting watching that. So I cut it out. But you can see here, once you submit the transaction, this is what you get. So you can go and review it on chain if you want, but we don't need to do that now. I'll just click on OK Close, and it should take it a minute or that to submit the transaction, get it confirmed on chain, and then I should see this balance here change to 400 ADA then. Okay, so you can see here the balance has updated to 400 ADA. And if I left that there and done nothing else now, I would earn an APY of 3.76% on top of staking rewards. Now, when you do this, when you get involved with any DeFi protocol, you are generally always giving up custody of your funds. So I've submitted them funds to the smart contract. What I say to people is I generally split my portfolio into different sections and split it up based on my risk reward. So when you give up custody, that always brings in a bit of extra risk. So I would never go all in on any platform or even put a large percentage of my portfolio into any DeFi protocol. So on the other side then is borrows. So if you want to take out a loan, then you can take out a loan against whatever collateral you have put in here. So if I come over to, there will be no point in me taking out a loan of ADA against the ADA that is there because I will be paying back extra interest to basically take out my own ADA. So with the Jed, I come down here, click on borrow. So you can see here then borrow Jed. So the amount of Jed that I want to actually borrow. So I want to borrow, let's say 100 Jed. And then down the bottom here, it's telling me the minimum health factor of new loans needs to be 1.06. 
So I can come up here and choose what I want to use as my collateral. So the two options at the minute are Jed and Ada. For me, I have Ada submitted. So if I click on max here, you can see the ADA that I'm providing here is worth 190 or $139. So you could go less than that. You can see with that there, it gives me my health factor of 1.11, which is, which is low enough. If I was doing a bigger loan, then I would be looking for a far higher health factor than something like that. But for the purposes of this, and because that is all the funds that I have in here, then that's what I'm going to have to go with here. But for you, if you're doing a bigger loan, then I would say be cautious of that and look to put a bit of extra collateral in against your loan because it wouldn't take a huge move in the market to actually get a position like this liquidated. So click on borrow 100 Jed. Again, I'll get the pop-up from Eternal and that should come up any second now. I have noticed that Eternal is slightly slower here than some of the other wallets. So if it's not coming up, just give it an extra few seconds and it generally does come up then. So there we go. The password has gone in. All done. You borrowed 100 Jed. You can go and look at the transaction on the network. I'll open that in another tab just to have. Click on OK Close. So what's going to happen now is they will use the collateral that I had here. When it goes through, you will see that I will get a borrows up here and it'll show me my health factor up on top and into my wallet, I will get 100 Jed. Okay, so you can see here the borrows, you can see my 100 Jed is the debt. So it's actually a little bit more than 100 at the minute. So that's what I would have to pay back here. There's the APY, so there's the interest rate that I'm paying on this. And you can see my supplies are gone because I use 100% of the collateral I put in against this loan over here on the right. If I had to leave some of the collateral, you would still see that here and whatever else was left there would be earning the APY on this side of 3.76. But because I've used it all in this loan, it's not earning any APY here at the minute. So up the top here for the health factor, you can see this is the health factor for my ADA loan. If I do the drop down and go to Jed, you can see this is for Jed. So you can see right now mine is at 1.11 and the point of getting into risk of liquidation is 1.06. So it would be liquidated after this point here. But I'm not going to leave this one open that long because for me, these margins are too tight. For someone else who is looking to get into bigger amounts and it's not just a test like this, I would definitely say look to have it over collateralized a lot more. So some of the reasons why someone might actually use a protocol like this. So say you have ADA sitting in your wallet. You think the price of ADA is going to go up, but because everything you have is in ADA, you can't do a whole lot with that. If you want to try and utilize that, you could put your ADA or some of your ADA into the protocol here. Now you could put it in and earn the extra APY and just leave it like that. But if you want to try and play the markets a bit more, you can put in your ADA into this. You could take out a loan in Jed or maybe there's going to be other assets available in time as well. But in this case, you take out a loan in Jed. So say the 100 ADA or 100 Jed that I took out in a loan here, I could go onto the market now and I could buy ADA with that if I expect the price of ADA to go up. So once the price of ADA does go up then, I can sell off the ADA that I bought with this Jed, get, I would end up with more Jed back then. So I repay my loan and whatever interest is due. And then the difference in that is what I keep as my profit. Some people, what they would do is you use the Jed to buy ADA. They might come back in here then and put in more collateral into the system as well with the extra ADA they've bought. And some people will cycle that through. But as you do that, there's more risk gets involved in it. And as I go through the DeFi series, I will talk a bit more about that. I'll have some videos that go into the definitely more riskier stuff, but they will come with a lot of warnings and hopefully highlight to people how risky they are but if people want to get into it then that is up to themselves hopefully they will go into it with a bit more understanding of how it all works hopefully you got value from this give the video a like share it out if you think others can benefit ask any questions below i'll incorporate them into future videos as well thanks for watching guys i'll talk to you soon